So when I saw all the roster changes coming into 2018, I didn't expect G2 to suddenly win the whole split. I thought they would need time with all these new members. Uh, Yankers and Perks had to find synergy with Wonder as well because that was gonna be the preferred playstyle because they had three like really strong carry players. Uh, so I thought it would take time and I thought also they would play very different. I thought it'd be a lot more messy, a lot faster, a lot more kills, but it's actually become a little bit more like the old G2, which is a good thing uh, for them. So did not expect them to win. I thought Fnatic would be the heavy favorites. The fact that G2 are in the final is a nice surprise, uh, but they were among the, the five teams I felt like could contest for it. I think I've always been pretty welcome within the team. It's just now there is no other players from behind, from before, so I have more responsibility in that way. I don't feel any responsibility to taking team to role. It's never a one-man job. I mean, I know I will go to roles no matter what, so I, I don't even worry a bit about it. I think there were good teams in the past, it's just we were better than them. And right now we are pretty good, but we are not necessarily better than other teams. It, it makes it harder for us to win, which makes us, make, makes, us, makes us practice more and improve more. The dodge around the side of it and puts down the upgraded turret. Now we did might look for the engage off towards the side. Here's the ultimate, the Fischio! Oh, I don't know gonna happen! He didn't make the noise, the Fischio, but G2 are making a lot of noise in this top lane as they jump onto momentum. He goes down, EQ underneath the tower, keeping himself alive for the moment. Perks. I let now you down! to join in the fight. Jankos may have let down his team, though, because he's gonna fall the last breath. Somehow he manages to stay! Oh, I'm dying! G2 destroy Rocket in the top lane! Domination from G2 Esports 23 minutes into the game. They're almost 20,000 gold ahead of Rocket. They've taken everything from them. <laughs> Ultis are coming up, here comes the engage. All right, Call of the Forge God comes out. Look at this, Xerxes is able to shut down what did, but it is at the cost of his own life. Now Wonder turns it back around, flashing forward, got the Bloodwell passive to bring him back to life. Perks goes forward before he's scattered by the weak, but there's simply not enough damage. It was Neek, a quadra kill for Perks to close out the game, to close out the weak. They get themselves the Nexus, G2 go three and zero. Four and oh, in the first two weeks, the Nexus goes down and G2 are on attack. And for the first time in 2018, G2 defeat Fnatic. Go oh, good job, bro. Yeah, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Perks. Perks. The Flash Forward wants a little bit more. Ooh, cannot get it. Lamb's Respite buys a bit of time, but the Nexus will fall in the end. G2 Esports, 6-0 in the LCS. I think we are performing really well. The meta is suiting us, I think, as well. And I think that we are still like far away of what I want us to perform. Even though we have really good games, I think we are like didn't really show in EOCS, but I feel like we are really inconsistent. Oh, what is that? It's the Heimerdinger. The, the, because apparently TP will get nerfed and it will be six minutes cooldown, and if you cancel, it will not reduce the cooldown yeah. of the TP. So if it pulls through, maybe you can play Ignite top with like uh, spellbook. Maybe, yeah. 
Actually, Fnatic is so good at playing with their TPs, you know? Like, when TP gets nerfed, this team is over. What is it though? I mean, this team is already losing to Splice, so... I mean, Splice is not that bad, like, come on. Yeah, they're not that oh, bad, oh, no. but they're oh, not oh, that even good. Oh, Oro. Oh, no. Get in the circle, get in the circle. Hey, 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 Charles. Oh, Kassin. Kassinga, Kassinga. Kassin played that well. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. I agree. Oh, oh, Inter, aye, Inters, aye, Inters. Aye, aye, aye. They're all fucking dead. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, Six O versus Six O. Welcome back to Berlin for our match of the week between G Two Esports and Misfits Gaming. Okay, Yankos is around mid now. Does a TP coming as well? Goes looking for the startup there. Flash out from Perks. Maxwell wants a little bit more, but Halo Arrows comes over. Mickey X wants the engage. Is gonna get first blood for Misfits. Yankos now slowly moving forward. Wants to get this kill. Taking down Max Lord. Getting the stack too. That's excellent for G Two Esports. Last ten seconds really sucked here for Max Lord. Not only did he miss the stun to stop the Rift Hell from being summoned, he also then dies right after. G2 gets the mid lane turret, almost getting another one. Fire back, they leap in, they go all in on the jungle. If Senkox manages to get one, now they want to turn it. Tom Kench back in with the rest of the team. It's up far in the back here. line. Eyes of the team, Hatsama, the monster performance. He brings back the feathers, but it's not enough. Jarnan will go down. How far he's starting to clean up the Mundo unkillable. Misfits turning it back. Only one team could walk away undefeated today, folks. Misfits. Sights set on 7-0, looking for the 9-0 on the first rotation of the split, and they're well on the way as they take down G2. What a great game of League of Legends. We had it all. Tension, smart play. We had two bad weeks of practice before as well because of the Rift Rivals and uh, being sick after as well. So I think right now we are like struggling a bit as a team. I think uh, we are not as good as we were when it comes to the meta understanding because um, the meta changed a little bit and if we don't play Funnel, we actually like sometimes misplay the drafts or we are just not, uh, we are just like too greedy sometimes as well and we try to do stuff that we can do with our picks. Um, so I think that is one of the mistakes we are doing right now and I think we need to be more just kind of like, we just need to understand the, the game more, be more disciplined in game as well. I think just in the beginning we were really fast with the like funnel strategy, like we were going for Luca and uh, Jankos is the support and, uh, and Jungle with like the funneling strat. But I think like, I, I don't think like we were caught up to us, I think we just like didn't keep on involving like our strategies and uh, we didn't just keep up with like getting better than other teams. So I don't think that they caught up to us. I think we just slowed down our pace instead, to be honest. The Giants, they are more like Titans today. They take down G2 and Giants go 2 and 6. For all said and done, Yarnin's going to take a godlike kill as Jackdraw comes back up, only to wave goodbye to this game. G2 Esports open their week 5 with a victory over Vitality. Rocket are the unflappable, untiltable team I talked about earlier today. And Rocket take down G2 Esports. I think the Giants game in particular was interesting because it felt like uh, G2 just kept trying to fight Giants all the time over and over when I think if they just slowed down the game it would have gone a lot better for them. Um, but when you sort of get caught up in this mindset of you know just continually fighting you are going to lose some fights and that's why Giants were able to sort of find their way in. Uh, and then a similar thing happened with uh, their game against Rockat. Uh, the key difference was all the plays they tried to make in the early game sort of got turned around by Memento. He seemed like he was always there to uh, make sure that a play that looked like it was going to work out ended up going the complete other direction. And that sort of snowballed to a point where G2 couldn't actually win the game. At least for me, I can only speak, for, I didn't talk to the rest of my teammates, but at least for me, I just take like every week for week, at least. Because you don't know if the patch, next patch maybe comes up, like uh, they change everything back, right? To AD carries come back, or they change that the mages gets worse botlets, maybe it's Bruiser's botlet, you know? Maybe they buff something new. You never know what the league will do, right? So we just, for me, at least I just try like, new stuff every week or see, like at least one or two picks every week to just like learn something new that maybe can work that I think is good. 
I think overall people in mm, this split are trying to talk more, so we are not as scared as, uh, of like giving our own opinion because how it lo uh, looked like the first split, I felt like Miwander and uh, Perex usually like gave our opinion and like our way to play the game, but now our bot lane stepped up a lot and they are trying to like kind of be vocal about how they want to play the game as well and we are all working together, so I think that changed for the better for sure, since we have five people talking about what we can change to become better and about what was wrong um, instead of three people, so I think overall it's going uh, for sure better. But at the same time, I think uh, we are still like doing some of the mistakes we were doing last split, which is kind of sad, but you know, over the course of the next few weeks, I think we can fix those and uh, you know, other teams are getting better as well, so it's not like we can just fix the mistakes that we were doing and we will become the best team. It's more that other teams are improving rapidly as well, so we need to step up. We lost against Giants and, uh, and Rocket now, and I think it's, you know, some, some, some games was because of the draft or because of misunderstanding or because of us greeting. Um, so I think in a BO5, let's say, we would probably have a better shot at beating those teams. But I also think that being punished um, with the mistakes we are doing, I think it's good because we can improve from that. But also, it feels really bad to like lose mm, to like the you know bottom tier teams, even though they are beating us. And maybe I shouldn't say that. Then they are still not as high in the in the standings as Misfits or Fnatic are. So for sure, it feels like a little bit less um, painful to lose against Misfits uh, in a game where you had a tough draft and you kind of did everything you could to like win the game, and they were just like a good team, than to lose against Rocket in like you know 10-15 minutes because we made so many mistakes early game that the game was just. Unwinnable. As far as like world contenders go, I think that Europe looks pretty strong. Like the top three teams in my eyes right now are uh, Fnatic, G2, and Misfits. Uh, and up until this week, they looked like they were very distinctly in that first three seeding. Um, but I think the competition from the lower tier teams uh, actually will only make those teams better in whichever three teams end up going to Worlds because if everyone below the top three is like pretty easy to beat, then you don't actually get practice when you come to LCS. So it is good to see those teams that were struggling towards the start of the split start to pick things up. Good for us, so yeah. Excuse me, can I take a selfie with you? Hi, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> big fan, by the way, big fan, big fan. Can you, can you shake my hand? Oh, I love you, I love you, I love you. Let me touch your beard now. Okay, fine. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so soft. I'm really sorry to bother you, but can I have another picture of you? Sure, go for it. Do you, you want to see my picture? Like, Maxler. The picture I took, like, it's so horrible. Like, look at, look at this. Look at this, look at me, by the way. What am I doing? Okay, okay, okay. Wait, yeah, okay. can you do it, or? Yeah, oh, you want it in here? There's just really many in here. Who cares? I'm with my, my well, homie, my bro, sure. my bro from another mother. Okay, hold on. Wait. Ready? Oh my god, so good. Wait. Luca. Just laugh, Luca. Yeah, Giggle, come on. Come on, just do it faster. Okay, you're good. Okay. <laughs>